Hi, I'm Brian Brown. I'm curator of entomology at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. Today I'm going to talk about the Bioscan project, which is an absolutely unique project to our museum. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. Bioscan stands for Biodiversity Science, City and Nature. And our goal is to compare the insects that we find in the city with those that we find outside of the city. So what we would normally find in a natural area around here. Of course, a natural area is pretty tough to find in Southern California. So when we talk about natural, it's always a relative term. There are two aspects to the Bioscan project that are absolutely integral to its success. One is that we're studying insects using methods that we normally would use in tropical rainforests or in more natural environments. And the second is that we're involving the public. Now we need to involve the public because so much of the land in Los Angeles is under public control. Our method of sampling is using what's called a malaise trap, which is like a tent with a collecting bottle at the top. The collecting bottle has alcohol, which is our preservative and killing agent. So insects fly along, they contact the malaise trap, the tent, they fly up into the top of the tent, into the collecting bottle, and then they're preserved for our scientific study. One malaise trap can catch thousands of insects in a single week. So we only sample for one week each month. That way we get a good snapshot of what's present in the city at that time. We don't study all groups of insects and in the Bioscan project here in Los Angeles. That's because there is too much diversity for one small group of scientists to study. In fact, we specialize on a group called the Foridae, a family of small, one to four millimeter long flies that's found worldwide and may be one of the most diverse families of insects in the world. I say maybe because we don't really know. Uh, there's about 4,500 species that have been described, but the true total worldwide may be 100,000, maybe many more. We just don't know. We don't have the data yet. We found so far about 50 species new to science in our project. That means 50 species that nobody has ever discovered or described in the scientific literature previously. These 50 species add to our knowledge of forehead flies and they let us extrapolate to the entire fauna. In the first year of sampling alone, we collected and identified close to 43,000 forehead flies. Now that's a lot of specimens. The goal of the Bioscan project is to understand how the variables of urbanization affect biodiversity. Once we can do this, once we understand better, how these variables affect biodiversity, we should be able to manipulate them and to make Los Angeles a more biologically healthy environment for wildlife as well as for humans. The future of the Bioscan project is looking outwards. After many years of studies here in the Los Angeles basin, we have a pretty good idea of which species are found here and we're learning more and more about how the variables of urbanization have affected them. We know a lot less and we need to do a much better job of sampling in the natural areas that surround the city, including the Channel Islands. That way we'll understand the matrix in which the city is embedded and how urbanization has really affected the fauna that used to be here. Furthermore, we need to look outwards to other parts of the country and even other countries in the world. We only have data for one place, Los Angeles. So we need to study San Diego, and San Francisco. We need to study the East Coast in the center of North America. And finally, we have interested people in Brazil and Costa Rica who are thinking of doing a Bioscan type study there as well. Of course, the ultimate goal of the Bioscan study and that of all of the studies in the Urban Nature Research Center at the museum is to make Los Angeles a more biodiverse and healthy environment for wildlife and for humans. 
We can do that by understanding how the urbanization variables affect wildlife, how we can manipulate them, and how we can make our city more biodiverse.